Hi everyone. Welcome to Ray Craft Book Storytime. I'm Eileen and today I am so excited to share with you The Legend of the Coqui by Georgina Lazarro, illustrated by Bruno Robert. Now Georgina never ever thought she would write a book. When she was growing up, she used to tell stories to her brothers and sisters to entertain them. So let's see how Georgina and Bruno came together to give you this beautiful book. Check out the illustrations. And also, there are a lot of animal sounds in this book. Can you help me? Let's get started. Here we go. Long, long ago in Puerto Rico, all the animals, big and small, wandered about wherever they wanted. Life was so easy that the animals didn't have to do much but eat, sleep, nap, and snack. The snakes were slowing down. The pelicans barely flew. The toads seemed slower than usual and the animals rarely talked to each other. The parrot, queen of the forest, grew worried. So she called them all together. Let's have a race, she said. One animal will represent each group and the animal that wins that group will get a fantastic prize. The race will happen right in this spot, three days from now, so I suggest you get moving. The parrot queen flew away, but she was always somewhere watching. All the animals picked the strongest and fastest member of their group, they started exercising. Caw, caw, said the proudest pelican. Click, click, said the delightful dolphin. Sss, sss, said the slitheriest snake. The turtle just yawned. Thwip, thwip, said the most incredible iguana. Brrr said the toughest toad. Squeak, squeak, said the shrewdest shrew. Parrot queen saw the frogs sitting on the side. They couldn't make a sound at all. And even if they could, they were so tiny, who would hear them? She knew no one paid attention to the frogs, but she hoped they would join the race. The frogs agreed that this was their chance to get noticed. So they picked the biggest little frog to represent them in the race. For three days, the little frog practiced hopping, jumping, leaping, and he studied the route for the race. He felt like he could win. Finally, it was the day of the race. All the animals were excited and came out to cheer on the racers. The parrot queen flew to a branch of a kapok tree. This tree is the starting line, she said. When you hear the signal, run to the tall palm tree at the left of the river, then turn around. The first one back is the winner. On your mark, get set, go! Squawked the parrot queen. The animals took off. The cloud of dust was so high, no one could see the racers. But Frog, he was still sitting there, 
with dust in his eyes. The other animals clapped, cheered, and whistled, but not for the little frog. They didn't see him. At first, the pelican and the iguana took an early lead. Close behind them were the dolphin and the snake, followed by the shrew and even toad. As expected, the turtle lagged far behind, but not farther than Frog, who was still trying to catch up. Where was he? No one could see him. Then the dolphin and the snake started to get tired. They slowed down to a crawl. Toad fell into a hole. The pelican kept trotting without a care in the world. And the shrew had to take a break because she had eaten too much for lunch. But where was the little frog? Suddenly, out of the dust appeared the little frog. He went left, he went right. He raced in front of the dolphin. Soon he closed in on the iguana and the pelican. Then he zigzagged around the snake, but they were so big. How was he going to get past them? That's when he knew. He leaped. With one giant leap, the tiny frog jumped over the iguana and pelican so fast they couldn't believe their eyes. He crossed the finish line. <sighs> Hiss, said the snake. Caw, caw, said the pelican. Thwip. Whip, said the iguana. Click, click, said the dolphin. <laughs> said the toad. Squeak, squeak, said the shrew. The turtles stretched their necks and looked around. The other little frogs patted their winner on the back and jumped around silently since none of them could make a sound. The parrot queen flew over. Congratulations, she told the little frog. Now you and your friends will receive a wonderful prize. Everyone hushed as the parrot queen began to sing. And to their surprise, the little frogs found their voice and began to sing with her. Coquie, 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 coquie. Ever since then, when the sun goes down, all the little frogs in Puerto Rico have been heard singing coquie. When you hear the little frogs sing at night, remember that you have a voice too. And even if you are little, you can still do big things. Thank you so much for listening to this story time. And please go to our website www.raycraftbooks.com to see more stories and request one if you'd like. And also don't forget to tune in to our Raycraft Books YouTube channel where you can see stories that you may have missed. See you again soon. Bye-bye.